Hi guys, so welcome to a day in my life as an au pair. It's uh, my day off, so I didn't have to wake up too, um, too early. I just decided to read, that's what I usually do in the morning. Um, then I wanted to make my bed. I don't always do it, but this time, you know, let's be productive. Okay, then I got dressed, which you didn't see, and I ended up braiding my hair that day. I wanted to show you how it looked like because it never turns out that good. And then what I do is usually meditate or stretch or do yoga. It helps me to get in those exercise, those that extra exercise because you know, I don't usually go to gym, even if it's open. I like to work out at home and yoga has been my thing for like a year or two now. Then I went downstairs and had some breakfast. It's a really Dutch breakfast, which is bread with butter and that sprinkles, that the name I cannot pronounce. I also had some tea. Then I got back upstairs and started planning out my Spanish study plan for the rest of the year. And what I did was to separate it into four categories of grammar, speaking, reading and vocabulary. Then I chose the subjects, the things I wanted to cover, which was like read three stories, do ser and estar, um, and etc. You can see me sitting there and thinking. It's extremely sped up and it took me about half an hour to an hour to actually finish all of it and you can see me browsing on my computer and looking for the resources because I didn't have my books with me so I had to just um, improvise I guess but it turned out pretty well and I actually managed to finish it now I'm putting in the things that I want to do each day so I have a separate calendar for my language learning and now I'm just putting the syllabus, I guess, that, that I made into each day on the calendar. I had two weeks left of November, so that's what I'm filling up right now. It took me a long time to do that study plan, so I was a bit stiff. So I ended up stretching, which I try to do every day. Um, I have been stretching since 2017 and I fell in love with this so I just kept doing it over and over again. I have a problem with keeping my hips squared but that's what I'm working on. The sweetest thing just happened to me. I went to Albert Heijn because I was craving something sweet and I always buy one smoothie there because they're really good and uh, I went to the uh, to the cash register and the cashier she started talking to me in Dutch which is well kind of understandable and I was like oh, I'm so sorry I don't speak Dutch because I didn't understand what she said and she was like oh where are you from and I was like oh I'm from Poland and she was like oh really I know a couple of words in Polish wait let me give you a discount and she gave me a discount and that was so sweet oh my god that was so cute it made my day so I ended up leaving the house today because the weather is just so beautiful and I went to eat something because I was craving fast food so I bought some fries and then I went to 
to Albert Hein. And well, I was mostly just walking and being with myself and thinking and not staying inside because it's not so good for my mental health, to be honest. So I'm trying to stay to stay out, to, to stay active, to walk. I'm avoiding a bike, but at some point I'm gonna have to use it because we want to go with the girls to one museum each week and not all of them are so close to my house so I'm gonna have to bike at some point but not now because I've been feeling kind of anxious today and I just needed to live and breathe and walk and remind myself why I'm here <laughs> that helps me when I'm feeling down on or just I'm not at my best with my mental health I just try to remind myself why I'm here yeah it's it's really weird it's it's corona time <laughs> and sometimes I wonder what the hell am I even doing like I at this point I don't remember how we functioned how I functioned before corona it is really strange right now but you do what you gotta do somehow i always end up at museum plane i don't know why it's just my place to be i feel so calm there and you can see the water and the trees and behind me it's rijks museum my favorite museum in the netherlands so far you can also find the uh, van gogh museum and the mocha museum and another one that the name I cannot pronounce, so I cannot help you with that. But you can always Google it. So I decided to slowly get back to the house. On my left, right there, you can see the garden, the Rijks Museum garden. And it is just so beautiful. I got home just now and I don't think anyone's home right now from the family. And I think I'm gonna do something I haven't done at all since I got here. So yeah, let's go. Am I actually sitting right now on the terrace, reading a book, listening to music, like I have to play some music, but who is she? My hair? Yes, okay. My terrace isn't really big, but I mean, I don't need much. It's my first time here. I, well, I actually went out. Um, <laughs> oh my god, uh, I actually went out here to today in the morning uh, because I opened the door to like put some to let some fresh and fresh air in But I haven't sat down here at all and I'm really glad I did this now I took a blanket. It's not actually cold, but there's a wind so I just don't want to get sick it's so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here for a while, read and just enjoy the rest of my day, I guess. It is 8.30 and my day just came to the end. I actually ended up reading like one page and then I just listened to music, looked at the sky and the buildings and just and tried to calm myself after a long day we live in times where everybody is doing everything fast and we want to do the best and everything and do everything right away because that's how it is shown in social media only the bright sides and I always try to find 
even just five, mi five minutes during the day and spend it at peace, breathing and being one with my inner self, I guess. Thank you for watching and spending this day with me and see ya in whatever video I upload next. Bye!